Aquarius Sun Taurus Moons, welcome to your 2023 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646 902 5715. When you view this, is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2022 Sun Moon readings. See if they rang true for you or somebody you know. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. We'll lay out the main cards, take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion, will be the video link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So Aquarius Sun Taurus Spoons, this can be a combination that has struggles in personal relationships. While you do care about people, are kind and sentimental, your need for freedom and to speak your mind coupled with financial security being your first priority can create some obstacles with your loved ones. You make up for what you lack by being able to provide for those you care about because your intuition and business sense are a dynamic duo. Friends are not hard to find. You have a great ear for listening, get along well with others, and give sage advice when asked. You vacillate between being the life of the party and sitting quietly in a corner, amused by people's antics. You don't wear your heart on your sleeve, but you are a trusted and loyal friend who will help anyone in need. Most usually don't know what to expect of you. You can be a conformist, but then a rebel, honor tradition, then do something unconventional. But one thing that is consistent in your is your creativity and eye for beauty. So Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aquarius, Sun, Taurus, Moons for the year 2023? What do you see? What do you need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Thank you for the card for January, February, March. What do you see for April, May, June? Uh, we have the Sun card in the upright. Uh, the January, February, March, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. What do you see for July, August, September for Aquarius, Sun, Taurus, Moons? Uh, we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Three of Pentacles in the upright. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. That's always appreciated. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. So it's interesting. In the beginning of the year, you have somebody who is really kind of talking behind your back. Um, they, they want to put you down for some reason. Uh, they're gossiping. They're spreading rumors. Um, some of it can be kind of slanderous. Uh, it's getting them attention. They're doing it because they want to get attention, but it isn't anything that they would say to your face. So it's a little bit manipulative. They're trying to get people to um, think poorly of you, um, you know, something in that regard, which can be really frustrating. Um, but the interesting thing is they can't kind of pin anything on you because in April, May, June, with the sun card, I see you being like, hey, I don't have anything to hide. So come at me. You know, um, people see that you're very you're a very open person, uh, that you're very kind, um, that you're very good. Um, so whatever this person's saying, it's just going to kind of bounce off of you. Uh, I don't think people are going to take it very seriously or anything in that regard um your your reputation and your integrity is actually going to hold up through it all so that's actually a good thing um the problem is that i feel in uh um uh, July, August, September, you're very concerned about this person um, because they kind of started out the year doing this. Um, so you always have it in the back of your mind that they have that capability to do that and um, that they could very well do it again. So I do see you kind of looking over your shoulder, being extra wary, extra defensive, um, you know, having concerns about them, trying to sabotage you, attack you, or, you know, again, um, speak poorly of you. So it's something that you're, you're being very very hyper vigilant about um, in that regard. And um, the reason why I think you're particularly concerned about that in July, August, September is because in October, November, December, I see you taking on some endeavor, which is a huge deal. I mean, it, it is something that you are working with several people on, um, at least one other person. Um, it's going to be getting a lot of recognition, a lot of notice. Um, it's something that could be put on public display. Um, it's something that you're working very hard on, uh, 
very hard uh, towards other people are contributing it's a, everyone's vibing and kind of getting along and I feel as though you don't want anything kind of affecting that you don't want any bad press so to speak whether you know it's true or not um, so that's why I feel like you're being very guarded about this person um, upsetting things for you in this big project that you have going on at the end of the year um, could be work related could be you know a, a, you know a business of your own um, could even be a relationship that you're kind of working on that's a very practical relationship that's very viable where, where you get along very well with somebody and you just don't want anything kind of screwing that up. So that's what I'm seeing for your 2023. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation. And I'll also be pulling a card of advice for 2023. Make sure you check out your 2022 sun, moon readings, see if they rang true for you or somebody you know. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Otherwise, Aquarius, Sun, Taurus, Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.